Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with me for Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a great and powerful lesson for today. A call to remembrance. A call to remembrance. Amen. As we get ready for this uh, uh, coming up to Easter Sunday and we are uh, having uh, a remembrance of what Christ has done for us. Amen. As we talk about a call to remembrance, we want to remember God's love and the resurrection. The most important thing in the world is the resurrection. Amen. God's love and the resurrection. Amen. Our lesson is coming from John 3, verse 16 through 17, and Luke 24, verse 1 through 12. Amen. We have a powerful and wonderful lesson that we are going into. Let us get ready. Uh, I want to ask of you, as we look at a call to remembrance, have you ever received that important call or message that changed your life from one moment to the next? I, I recall when I received uh, that message, that one call that made the most profound difference in my life, something that I never expected to occur, happen in my life. Amen. And as I think about it, 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 it changed my life uh, from that time on. Amen. We will uh, speak about it later at the end of the lesson. But let us get ready and move right into the lesson. Amen. Uh, as we look at uh, a call to remembrance. Remembrance God love and the resurrection. Amen. Uh, we're going to get ready and have prayer. Then we're going to move right into our lesson. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you for this is the day that you have made and we rejoice and is glad in it. We thank you, Father, that we are a part of your resurrection, that we are, are, are able to claim you as our Lord and Savior and that we can have the opportunity to go before the Holy of Holies and 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 and, and make our request known. We thank you for it, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as we go into your word, we pray that you would open our eyes that we see, our ears that we hear, and give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in your word, Father. Give us a heart that is pliable, that is uh, ready to receive your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Open us that we shall each person receive that personal information, that personal uh, uh, answer that we are waiting for at this time in our life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as we go forward, in the name of Jesus, we claim healing, deliverance, protection, and guidance for over each and every person. At the sound of my voice, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, your word said, by your stripes you, we are healed. And it was done over 2,000 years ago. And it has been paid for in the name of Jesus. And we we thank you for it, Father, and we claim that healing and we walk in that healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise in Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, as we move into our lesson, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is God's message of love to us. This is what he did to say, you, 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 you wonder, you know, uh, uh, how do we know that he loved? Because he gave. Amen. Because that he, he gave and that he did not hold anything back. Amen. Uh, verse 17 said, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. We he, he sent his son that we have the opportunity, the chance that, that we would have uh, eternal life. Amen. Uh, uh, that the uh, uh, that we don't have to go through the second death. Amen. That 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 uh, is uh, a possible. Amen. We have a choice uh, whether to accept him as our Lord and Savior or not. Amen. As we move farther into our lesson, looking at the resurrection of Jesus, after we see uh, uh, the uh, message of God's love and what he did that we may receive that love, that he sent his only begotten son. Now we move to the resurrection of Jesus Christ and what he endured and what he uh, uh, what was done for us that we may have eternal life. Starting at uh, Luke 24, verses 1 through 12. 
And that passage read, verses 1 read, Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came into the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. Amen. So there was a, a, a list of women that came uh, to the sepulchre, to the tomb, to uh, see uh, whether uh, uh, to 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 put the perfumes and stuff on that was supposed to be put on after so many days uh, uh, of, of of a person's death, and so the women had came to the to the tomb, and uh, they, they they were known for rising early. This was as we know Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, spoke of him rising early to go pray many, many times throughout the scriptures. Amen. And so we see that the women also rose early to get to the to the tomb to to take care of uh, uh, of his body. That what they did on a regular basis. Amen. Whenever anyone passed. All right. Verse two says, and they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. Now we can only imagine as they went to the tomb, that they, uh, being women, you know, I would have, uh, as we was walking alone, you know, they probably uh, spoke to each other saying, how is we going to be able to move the tomb, the, the stone from the tomb? And, and, and we know that in some of the other versions of the gospel, it, it is mentioned that they did ask, you know, how is we going to get the the the, the 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 stone rolled away from the tomb that we may be able to get in there to him, and so as they uh, uh, is pondering this, uh, uh, they walks up to the tomb and, and they and they uh, uh, as they said in verse two it says and they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. The surprise, but they see that the stone has been rolled away. Amen. The stone is rolled away. Verse three says, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. Now, because they are they are not thinking, the first thing that comes to their mind is someone has taken the Lord Jesus. Someone has come in and stole the, the, the body of the Lord Jesus, not thinking uh, to pay attention to what's going on in the tomb, the surroundings, amen? Uh, uh, as we uh, say, after they entered in, it said, verse four says, and it came to pass as they were much perplexed thereabout, Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Amen. And so after they done come and looked in the tomb and, and they don't see the body of the Lord Jesus and they, they, they are very, you know, upset, they're worried, they're wondering who would have come and took the uh, body to, to, to make it seem as if uh, uh, he wasn't there or uh, 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 to be, try to play tricks on him or something. They was wondering what was going to But then there's this two men that come and stand there beside them in shining garments. They wasn't uh, the ordinary men that was in their area that they knew of. They knew that this is, was something different and something uh, unique that was happening to them. That the, 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 and, 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 and he speak, spoke of it, that, that these are the angels that come in and, 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 and the shining garments and stand uh, before them and tell them. Verse 5 says, and as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth because they didn't know who it was. And so, you know, you don't, they didn't want to look upon them because, of, you know, women were, were um, were uh, taught to you know to kind of to be humble unto men and and to to bow down to them and and things and, and so uh, when the, the, these angels uh, come up and and and, and uh, is standing there they, they they and they don't know what it, what is going on and they got these shining garments on they they bow down believing that it could be an angel it could be of God or, or, uh, uh, that that they are not aware of so they bow down their faces to the earth and they said unto them why seek ye the living among the dead. Amen. Okay, as, as, as the uh, 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 angels began to speak to the women, he asked them, you know, why are you looking for a live person in the graveyard, in a cemetery, in the, in the tomb? Why are you looking for him in the tomb? He, 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 he's not a a dead person, you know, that reminds me of uh, where uh, Jesus was uh, speaking to the uh, Pharisees and the scribes, and he said, uh, they was asking about uh, 
the, the woman that had uh, had the seven husbands and and they wanted to know who husband she was going to be and, and and then Jesus went on to tell them that you know you you, you, you they didn't believe I believe these was a scribe and they didn't believe in the resurrection and he was saying uh uh uh, when it come to the resurrection, uh, th that the Bible speak of, that it, he said, uh, uh, he said, God says, I am the God of Abraham. I'm the God of Isaac. I'm the God of Jacob. He's the God of the living and not of the dead. Amen. So he said, you know, they are not dead. So this is what the angels is saying in essence uh, to the women and say, He is not here, but He's risen. Remember how he speak unto you when he was with you, was yet with you in Galilee, how, how he spoke to you, how he reminded you. And those that had been with Jesus, he reminded them at least three times of greater that he was going to return. Amen. And that he that, that he he told him the entire situation that was going to take place. That he would, but he but that he would rise after the third day. Verse seven says, said the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And so, you know, and we know that uh, in some of the passages of the gospel, uh, uh, some of the disciples said, what do he mean this rise again? And he, 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 was, he was straightforward with them, but they figured that because he had spoke to them in parables in so many things, that uh, that was a parable and not, that wasn't actual what was going to happen. But this, you know, they, they find out that this is what is going to happen. Amen. Uh, I said, it said the son of man must be delivered into the hands of the sinful men and be crucified. He done went through all this. And now the third day he is to rise again. So he shouldn't be in the tomb. He shouldn't be done risen. Amen. Verse 8 says, and they remembered his words. This is the thing. We have to remember his words. That's the reason we are to meditate on his words day and night so that we can remember his words and know what his words is. And that's how we can follow him and know the truth. Amen. And the Holy Spirit can bring the, whole, the, the, the truth to our remembrance, the word of God to our remembrance as we study and meditate on the word. Amen. And as we do so, then we have the remembrance of, of, of what is going on. If we don't study and put it in our mind, then we will forget. It reminds me of uh, one of the things that when uh, um, David was uh, 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 talking to, to the king and he was telling him that he was going to kill Goliath and he was, he he he, he, used, he utilized his memory of the, the, the what the, the Lord had God had allowed him to do that he had killed the lion and he had killed about the remembrance of things bring about uh, things in our life that 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 we remember situations sometimes good and sometimes not so good amen but uh as, as you read that passage about David it said that the, the bear and the lion had the, the lamb in his mouth and he went and he got that grab by grabbed that bear and pulled the lion out of the, the lamb out of his mouth and 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 and, 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 he, and he just killed the, the, the bear and they killed the lion. Amen. So we have to get things, uh, get a hold of things and remember so that it will be a blessing to us. It will uplift us, it will strengthen us. Amen. And said Verse 9 says, and return from the sepulchre and told, I'm sorry, it says, they remembered his word, then they returned, yes, that's correct, verse 9, and returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. Now, the remembrance has taken place. The women remember what Jesus has said, and they they accept it. And so they go on to tell the, the disciples, we are to go and tell, to give the good news to people that, that, that Christ has risen. We are to go and give the good news to the people that God, that Christ has risen. Amen. And, uh, as we look at this, we re must remember Jesus' words and trust in his resurrection. The resurrection is what changes everything. That is where our hope, that is where our purpose, that's where our eternal destiny is. That's the only way that we will be able to rise again is through his resurrection because he has risen again. Amen. Uh, uh, Paul uh, 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 mentions that uh, in, in, in a passage of scripture that, you know, if, it, if, if we, uh, uh, if let me see, I think I got that listed. Uh, 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 
Sí. Let's see. I wrote it down and out of this place where I wrote it. But I do know that we we are uh, uh we know that uh Paul mentioned that uh uh that if he's not to rise again, then we are uh, our we're still in our sins. Nothing has changed. Amen. So we know that uh uh, uh it, 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 the, the, his rising again is the whole basis of the Christian's faith. Amen. And said, and and verse nine, it said, and they returned from the sepulcher and told all these things until the eleven and to all the rest. So they they let everybody know they went and 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 uh, because they was the first to see the the risen Savior, uh, they went and told everyone. Verse ten says, it was Mary Magdalene. Now we get the names of the people that was uh, first at the at the at the tomb, uh, and Joanna and Mary, uh, the mother of James and other. Uh, women that were there with them, which told these things unto the apostles. So they had a, 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 a entourage, as they say, of women that went uh, uh, to the tomb to, uh, to to take care of the body of Jesus. And I can understand why, because uh, 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 being uh, working in the nursing field, I know that dead bodies are heavy, and so they took more than one or two to 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 maneuver the body. So they was going to they was prepared. They was gonna have enough people to do what was needed to take care of the body. Amen. So the women was there. They were available. Amen. Are we available to to go and and take the message as Christ would have us to be? Amen. Verse eleven says, and their words seemed to them as idle tales. And they believed them not because they hadn't seen. Uh, uh, they did not want to believe. And, and, and you know, uh, after Jesus appears to them uh, uh, and he scorns them for, scorns them for not believing, then Tom, died, uh, we, what people call him is Dalton Thomas, uh, uh, that he says uh, uh, that he wasn't going to believe less than he uh, saw him and was able to put his uh, hand in his in 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 the nails in his hand and in his side and 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 and, and all this here kind of stuff and and Jesus told him you know blessed are those that believe that will never see and that's what we have to do we have to believe even though we'll never see his body but we know that uh, uh, um, as we received his accept him as our Lord and Savior there was a change made in us. And we began to change slowly to become the children of God. Amen. To, to look like children of God. Amen. Verse 12 said, Then arose Peter and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. Now they see the uh, the clothes laying there that, that would have been wrapped around Jesus. They see the clothes there, and so they he, he wondering, well, why is the clothes there? Because it really and truly, you know, you know, many even the commentaries say if uh, somebody had a stole the body, they wouldn't have took the uh, time to to uh, uh, they wouldn't have took the time to uh, 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 excuse me to uh, unwrap the body and then take him out. And why would they want to take a naked body out? Uh, they they would have you know left him wrapped up. But so uh, they would. It made more sense that uh, uh, Jesus got out of that 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 that, that, that garment of death, and 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 turn and and as he told uh, uh, the, the people when he raised Lazarus from the dead, he said, "Loose him and let him go." Amen. Uh, I said, uh, as we look at this passage, as we see how uh, uh, Peter Nim was uh, perplexed about. Uh, uh, not finding Jesus, even though he had told them several times that he would be risen from the dead. We look at 2 Timothy 1 and 5, and it says, just a minute, uh, it says, if, um, if, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned, except he strive lawfully. Amen. 2 Timothy 2 and 5. Amen. I think I... Uh, I did. I put the wrong one up. It's one and five because the passage is that I want to read is Second Timothy one and five, and it says, "When I when I call to remembrance the unfringed faith that is in thee." 
which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Amen. Uh, Paul, he is now uh, speaking, bringing to remembrance that uh, Timothy was, was uh, his, his mother and grandmother both had been uh, uh, filled with the Holy Spirit and that had, had carried a, a Christian walk uh, with them. Amen. And so as they, they saw this, uh, he saw this, he, 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 he told Timothy, I, I, I see the same thing in you. Amen. So our call to remembrance, our own personal reflection is what has God done in our life that we need to remember? What has God done in our life that we need to remember that will give us the strength to make it through the next thing, to make sure that we are able to have the strength to go forward? And how has the resurrection impacted your faith? If you could answer at the bottom of the question of the uh, video below, how has the resurrection impacted your life? Our challenge as we look at this and remember God's love is we look back at the cross and the sacrifice that Christ gave for us. And we are to realize that we are to live in the resurrection power and let the truth of the empty tomb transform us, remind us that that empty tomb means that we have the right to eternal life. Our daily life and then in our and transform our daily life and we are to share the message as the women did whether people believe it or not we our only job is to share the good news of Christ amen and, and share the good news with others amen as we look at this lesson we know that it empowers us as believers the resurrection uh to to live new lives just as Jesus was raised from the dead by the glory of the father we too my walk in the newness of life, as in Romans 6 and 4. This passage, especially with the angels' reminders of Jesus' words, calls believers to remember and live out the teaching of Jesus, empowered by the Holy Spirit that is within us. And as we conclude, let the echo of the angels' proclamation, He is not here, He has risen, be a call to remembrance, that resonate in every aspect of our lives. Let it remind us daily of the love that conquered the grave and the hope that cannot be shaken. Together, let us move forward in the assurance of the resurrection emboldened to proclaim the good news, living as resurrected people in a world in need of resurrection hope. Amen. Powerful lesson we have as we look at this lesson. And as I spoke of earlier and I asked, is there anything that uh, that you've got a call or uh, a message that changed your life dramatically? And I said that I would bring out my situation that uh, I went through that uh, uh, it was uh, when my daughter passed, uh, she had went to the hospital and and. Uh, young a young uh adult and you know not expecting any situation to happen but due to life and situations she did pass and you know that 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 knock on the door that telephone call well the police came to my door and that was the thing that I never shall forget and man, the, and and the Lord took me through that situation because I know I wouldn't have been able to make it because my daughter she had went to the hospital not in severe shape, uh, uh, nothing addressed that had happened to her, but she went to the hospital and the police came to tell me that she had passed. So we, you know, you can it's things that we can remember, and I know that uh, as, after the years that has passed. And, and life's lesson that has been learned that I know that uh, through the grace of God, I've made it through that. I've made it through that. So that's some of the th one of the things that I remember uh, uh, of the message that I received, that, that the knock at the door or the phone call that changes your life forever. Amen. And let us let this resurrection change our lives forever. Let us bring it to others. Let us give it to others. Amen. As we bring the good news. Amen.
I pray you meditate on this wonderful and powerful lesson, and each of you have a great and blessed day. And if something was said touches your heart, soul, or mind, or your spirit, please make sure that you uh, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you would, please make a comment below uh, uh, about something that was said that touched your heart about the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you.